What is good, right? Today we are back with a brand new WWE Elite Build a Figure set, and we are back with the WWE Elite Royal Rumble 2025 Great Kali Build a Figure set. Now, this set is very, very important for a lot of different reasons. We're going to dive into it, but featuring all of the talent we have today, man, we have Cody Rhodes, Hulk Hogan, Diesel, and Hurricane, or Kevin Nash, or whatever you want to say, man. But today we have an epic set, and it's because of a lot of reasons. First of all, we have a great Kali Build a Figure, an Elite we've been waiting on for a very long time. I have seen rumbles on line that it sucks. We're going to find out though together. And also, we have Royal Rumble 2023 Cody Rhodes featured here. I was front row for that show and it was one of the coolest things I got to witness in person. I was front row. It was amazing. I'm a big Cody Rhodes fan. And lastly, we have brand new boot sculpts featured in this wave with the Cody Rhodes figure. It's the brand newly sculpted boots. Not the like traditional wrestling boots, but the Cody Rhodes style boots. But I was very worried about this figure because it looks so damn stiff. We're going to crack it out of the packaging and find out if he is indeed very stiff. See how that all works out. But we will find all that out today, man. First of all, here's a look at Cody Rhodes, man. And that gear is so sick. Reminds me of George Washington. Very sweet going on, man. One thing they could really make these figures pop is if they could somehow figure out how to make the gear shine. All the gears that Cody Rhodes wears usually has some sort of iridescent stones. and Like, you know what I'm talking about? It's got a little bedazzling on there. And I think that would really make it pop. I don't know how they'd figure that out. But I like this packaging, though. You got the Greek Cully Build-A-Figure. You got Royal Rumble right there. Nice shot of Cody. Cody Rhodes, and then on the back you get a nice shot of Cody Rhodes. Very cool, man. Very cool indeed. This was his first win of a Royal Rumble, and then of course he won it last year, so I'm sure we'll get that looking figure for him too, but there is Cody Rhodes. We also have Hulk Hogan right here, which is kind of an Elite 96 re-release. You get the big bed sheet or towel here that says Hulkamania will live forever. I think a fan made that and brought it, and he tore it out of the crowd and then held it up. Imagine being that fan that made that, and now all these years later they have made that in figure form. I think that'd be so sick, but you have a nice shot of him there. On the back you have a nice shot of Hogan. Got the little bio read, and then you do have the Great Kali again, man. This is so sick, man. So sick. I'm excited for this wave. Gonna have a repaint of a Diesel slash Kevin Nash figure. We're gonna get into that as well. Nah, probably my least favorite figure in the in the set is gonna be the Diesel, but we won't know, even though I do like the gear. And then we do have a newly done Hurricane. We got to see all of these at San Diego Comic Con this past year, but I'm very excited for this wave. Hurricane looks very good. Got a nice shot of Hurricane there, and we'll get into all the different jazz, man. But this, this set looks pretty promising. I'm excited for it. I'm ready to crack them out of the packaging, find out what they're about, but let's shut the hell up and do so and find out what the Royal Rumble 2025 set is all about. So here is the full 2025 Royal Rumble Elite set out of the packaging. Again, if you guys want to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, man. But what we're going to do is just like we did the WrestleMania Elite set, we're going to go one by one through each figure, break it down, see how it compares, see how we feel about each figure individually, what accessories they come with. Because it is a pay-per-view set, you guys know that the accessories are going to be lacking, but we are going to build the Great Kali at the very end, and then we'll rank this set from my least favorite to my favorite figure in terms of everything going on, man. So should be a fun one, man. I'm very excited excited to get into it with you. We're going to start off with Cody Rhodes, work our way through. And I do apologize that, you know, I do get these sets in late. So I appreciate everybody that comes through and hangs out or waits for my review or checks out my review as well as other people's reviews, man. That means a lot to me and I greatly appreciate that. But anyways, man, let's get into this set. Breakdown 2025 Royal Rumble Elites. See what we got going on. So getting into Cody Rhodes, man, starting out the head sculpt. I don't like this head sculpt. I don't like the choice that they made here. Originally at San Diego Comic Con, man, I thought that they gave us the Defining Moments head sculpt, but this is not the Defining Moments head sculpt. This looks to be one of the top picks head sculpts or one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts. So that is unfortunate. And one thing you guys will notice is they're still putting the tattoo on the jaw, man. That is just unnecessary. Unnecessary roughness right there. I will say it is a clean tattoo besides the part right here on the jaw, but the Defining Moments head sculpt, whatever they got to do to use that head head sculpt every time. Just do that, man. This head sculpt isn't the worst I've ever seen, but that Defining Moments head sculpt is Chef's Kiss, and this is really, that's the only way you can get it is through that Defining Moments figure, but you have the Dream Tattoo, of course. We do get chest hair, which is nice. You know, you love to see that. Got the right wrist tape over here. No wrist tape over here. We do get the belt on there. I don't know why I left the belt on there, but this is the same belt mold that we saw on his Ultimate Edition. It's got the Nightmare logo. It is, I still don't like this belt mold, but I definitely like it more than the old one. That's something I can say for sure. And then we get into these tights, and I really like the tights. The, the colors look really good. The metallic gold is really the only thing that has any sheen to it, but I do like it. It actually looks very impressive. I didn't expect to see that. You know, we talked about the bedazzled or the jewels that would be on the attire. This is okay. 
okay. This is actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be. But uh, you will get some like different paint chipping on the white just because it is white. I think these are blue legs with white applied over it. So that is kind of the game that you play when you do that and kind of see the thickness of the white paint over it. But all the stripes and stuff look really, really good. It is pinless joints and everything. But I don't know, man. The big thing is going to be these new boots. And I do like that we have a new boot mold going on and we'll get into the new articulation about it. But I will say the feet look a bit big on these new boots. On the new on the new feet and boots I'm noticing, they look a bit oversized, which we'll get into. But the Nightmare logo looks good and everything. But it, am I tripping? It just looks like his feet may be a little big. But let's get into some articulation. And the articulation on this figure feels pretty good. It's all your standard articulation that you're going to get out of Elite. But this was one of the issues that I was most, uh, I guess you could say, afraid of when looking at this figure posed around in the, in the galleries. Is I feel like because he has this problem right here, I knew, I knew it. I knew that he would have this problem, man. And I did something, what I did was, is as soon as I removed it out of the packaging and I noticed this, I did heat up the legs and remove them and put them on there. And when they were first put back on there, he had good articulation. And then as it dried, as it got, as it dried, as the plastic started to harden back up, that is when it went back to this right here. So I don't know if it's the teeth on the inside, but you can see, this is what I'm talking about. You see how he has that slight lean forward and he doesn't stay in straight up? That's what I was talking about yesterday in our review. I don't like that at all. It makes these figures feel really, really stiff, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like, that right there is a little bit better, but it's very difficult to get him back in that position. It's, it, you can see that his knee is slightly bent instead of being, like, straight up. Let me see if I can get a comparison of what I'm talking about. So here's the defining moments, Cody, and look right here. You see how, like, natural he's standing straight up? This figure, he can kick forward. Also has a better head sculpt. Look at that head sculpt looks way better. Look at that right there. There's something about it, man. It just looks more like Cody. It's kind of hard to describe, but this is on ball joints, like classic ball joints, and it has classic stuff going on. This one does not, and look at the feet size, dude. Look at the difference in feet size. This is crazy. Look at the difference in feet size. That's a pretty significant difference, so that's what I'm talking about. Some of those different things, and maybe it's just like something we gotta get used to. Maybe the feet were too small beforehand. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but proportions are gonna matter because they have a similar head size. They have the exact same torso, shoulders, and arms. The crotch pieces, I think, are the same. No, actually, these may be different crotch pieces because we have new ball joints, but maybe this is more accurate. I don't know, but it's certainly worth noting and pointing out. It, it just, the articulation on this guy is just abysmal. The knee is not like the over tight, you know, the tightest thing I've ever seen, but it's just a pain in the butt to kick forward, man. That's so god dang awful. It's awful. And now look, when you put the leg down, look at that lean forward. That's what I'm talking about. That's the exact thing that I'm talking about. I, I don't know, man. I'm worried, dude. Like, like, I, I don't know how you can really fix it. I don't, I don't know how you fix that, but it's not good. I can tell you that. It's definitely not good. And I was afraid of this. I was afraid of this when we saw the gallery because I could tell by the images how his knees were bent and he was kind of slain forward. I didn't like it, man. Oh, God, this isn't good. All right, man, getting into Hulk Hogan. This figure, really, there's not a lot going on with it because it's essentially the Elite 96. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Same head sculpt, same body, same trunks. I don't want to spend a huge amount of time on it, but good God, look at him right there. He looks like a cracked out homeless man right there. Look at that eye right there bulging out. I don't know. Now my eyes are misprinted. Now I can't unsee it. God dang it. But he does have the necklace or the, you know, the chain necklace with the cross on there, which I like. He does come with a bandana and we'll get into the accessories. I didn't get into Cody Rhodes accessories because it's just interchangeable hands and a weight belt, but you do have the yellow trunks, white wrist tape, same body. It's a good body for Hulk Hogan. You know, you got the red knee pads, you got the yellow boots in there. It's really good stuff, you know. You know, I don't need to sit here and spend an enormous amount of time on it, but since it is the Elite 96, it's not going to have any of that old crap going on. I don't like like how the necklace, I need to take this necklace off and kind of reform it because I hate when it floats out there like that. It's very, very annoying. So I'll definitely have to do something about that. Need to make a whole video on that. But yeah, I mean, it's the same articulation you come to know. Like he can split, he can boot cut, he can double jointed knee. It doesn't have pinless joint. Like this is a really good figure because of those reasons. How come, like some things I think just need to remain the same. You know what I mean? And I think that there's certain things that I am excited about with the new figures. And then some things I just don't like. Like pinless legs, I don't like. That's really it. The legs are just just the biggest part of it, man. The le like the stiff legs and the not being able to articulate makes me vomit. But he also comes with this Hulkamania will live forever sheet type deal that he can hold. So you can see that right there. Again, I think this was a sheet or bed sheet or something that somebody brought and had it in the arena when he won the Royal Rumble and then he took it and held it up. I mean, how sick as hell is that? It looks so sick. It looks like it's sharpied on too. So I like that a lot. That's very, very cool. I think they did an excellent job here. I love it. I think this is great stuff. Very sweet. Very sweet. And then his other accessory does include the Hulk 
rules headband that does fit the figure nice. So if we come up here, you can kind of slide this onto the dome right there, and then boom. Looks pretty good. I do prefer it sculpted on. I'd rather have a sculpted on head sculpt than a sculpted off, but I, I don't know. It's not bad to have the removable. At least it looks pretty flush and everything like that, so that's good for the Hulk Hogan. And then he also comes with a great Kali's head sculpt. And then we also have the Diesel figure, which this looks to be a repaint of the Ruthless Aggression figure. At least that's what it looks like to me. I don't see a huge difference here in the head sculpt between the two, but it's a good likeness and everything like that. You got the ponytail head sculpt in there. I do like the gear. It's kind of a plain Jane gear, but I do like the white and black diesel shirt or singlet. The diesel font I've always liked. I think that looks good. And then you do have his tattoos on his right side or right arm with the large elbow pad. Kind of that elbow, kind of that Undertaker elbow pad with the black wrist tape. He has a right glove, which has a very small fist. And then you do have the mic holding hand on the left side. And then on the back, it's just plain white. You do have the little side stripes going down the side in black. And then it's just black pants. It's the Undertaker. It's the Kevin Nash style pants where it's just those long black loose pants. And then it goes down into some black boots. Not anything over the top or crazy, but I do like this head sculpt. He's got the slight smirk going on. It's got true effects. It's not a bad likeness. I think they did a pretty decent job here. Figure is very tall though, and he has the classic legs, so you know he's going to be able to do that big boot and everything like that. You have the pin joints, so you guys know that's going to be buttery smooth. I mean, this is essentially just a repaint. It's a repaint of other figures, which is, we already know. We already know usually in pay-per-view, build a figure sets and stuff like that. That's typically what happens anyway, because you typically have some sort of repaint of a previously done figure. Maybe a new head sculpt here and there, maybe a few changes, but for the most part, it's usually repaints. And the diesel figure does come with the Great Khali legs, and I'm starting to get worried, man. I'm starting to get worried that this Great Khali is not going to be very great, if that makes sense. But he does have the Punjabi down the side. We'll get into the Great Khali later, and we'll break down that and see all the articulation stuff. But he does come with the legs of the Great Khali. And then all accessories come with diesel is a pair of fisted hands and a pair of mic holding hands, one with a glove and one without. So it's not a ton of great, uh, great accessories in this wave overall. So getting into the last figure, which is the Hurricane. It's going to be the gigantic head sculpt here. It's not gigantic, but it's definitely oversized, I'd say, which we'll get into. But I do like it. The likeness looks pretty good. I did have a little schmutz on my, my chin right here, which is a little weird, but I did get that off there. But the mask looks good. I do like the hair sculpt and everything. His head just looks a little bit too big, in my opinion. But I do like the Hurricane figure. It does look pretty good so far. And it is, from the neck down, pretty much a repaint. We do have the lime green. You know, tie. I like when they do the sculpted on shirt. I just think it looks so good for whatever reason. Now, I think there is a time and place to do this, but you do get a little bit of shimmery green going on right here, which I like. They don't have his Green Lantern tattoo in there, but I do like all of the different colors and everything going on. And then you do have the hurricane pattern down the side with still that sheen style green color going down on the stripes. And then you do have the, they are pinless legs, so that is kind of unfortunate, but he does have the Johnny Gargano syndrome. Now, I will say the hurricane, his boots, most of the time he did have kind of like shorter boots or kick pads, which is definitely a thing. I've seen it before, but I still don't like the Johnny Gargano syndrome, but he does have a slightly, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like an off-white or gray shoe with the white over it, which I think looks really, really clean, so I'm glad they did that. Now, one of his main accessories is going to be the Hurricane Cape, which looks very good. I like the H logo on the back. You have that shimmery look to it. It's got the Velcro on the front, so you can put it on there. I love the Hurricane Capes. I think these are so nice and well done, but besides the Hurricane Cape that you get, you get nothing else. You get mic holding hands and fists, man, so just a real lack of accessories in these pay-per-view Build-A-Figure waves, but you know, it's all about the Build-A-Figure. Like, one or two of the figures are usually really well done, but I like this hurricane so far. It's just, I don't know how I feel about the articulation and the head sculpt. And with the articulation, it's really not the ball joints here. He has a good kick forward on both sides. It's not anything like that. And the boot swivel is nice. Everything is great about this articulation. It's, and it's your standard stuff. You know what I mean? Tight ab crunch, good waist, all that good stuff. I still wish we had a ball hinge in the head, but the main thing is going to be the double jointed knee is very stiff. I can't stay, like you may be able to hear it right here. I don't know if you can hear that, but I don't know. It's not bad. It's definitely, it definitely moves a lot better better than the Cody Rhodes figure that we talked about, and it doesn't feel as frustrating or whatever it is, but you will notice that the head sculpt's definitely big if you take it and compare it to the Cody Rhodes. The head sculpt, I mean, the head sculpt's pretty dang up and big between this Hurricane and everybody else, so it is a newly sculpted head. I don't know why these oversized things are making their way into the line, and I know figures and toys is really hard to nail because things are, you know, they're changing every day, they're growing, you're trying to improve them and things like that, and there's bumps in the road, so this may just be one of those things, but the Hurricane head sculpt's definitely oversized, and then the boot of the Cody Rhodes are a little oversized, I'd say. But I like the Hurricane figure a lot. I just think that his head sculpt's massive. I mean, it's just the way it is. All right, man, now it's time to build our great Kali, and I'm worried about it, man. I'm worried about it. I don't know. I don't know how he's going to compare, but this is how it lays out. The torso comes with Cody Rhodes. The head sculpt comes with Hulk Hogan. The legs come with Diesel, and the arms come with the Hurricane. So we're going to take the Punjabi legs, and we will break down this figure, and then we will see how it compares and stuff like that. So God in heaven, we're 
gonna crispy that together right there. I'm gonna take this arm, that is gonna be the right arm, I believe. I'm gonna pop that in there. Then we're gonna take the other arm, which would be the left arm. And then we're gonna take our head sculpt and we are gonna pop this onto here to create the beastly and looks to be heavily undersized Great Kali. So here is the Great Kali and we'll do a good comparison and all that stuff. We'll compare him to everything and we'll get a zoom in shot here. But just overall looking at him here. So starting with the head sculpt, I think it's a good likeness to Great Kali. It looks to be a repeat of one of the basic figures or it's very similar to one, but it still looks good regardless. I think the likeness is uncanny. The hair sculpt is nice. The beard looks good. I like the head sculpt a lot on this Great Kali. I think they did a good job here. Now, if we move down into the torso, I can't tell if this is a brand new torso. I don't think it's a brand new torso, but I could be wrong about that. I think that, though, it does look undersized to me. It just doesn't look grand or long or big enough to be the Great Kali. I'm feeling the same way about his shoulders. And the arms look to be Brock Lesnar arms, right? I think these are Brock Lesnar arms. I think they could have gotten away with giving us Omos arms from his figure. We're going to compare the Omos figure, but I don't know, man. Kind of an underwhelming figure right here. His hands are also just normal choke slamming hands, I do believe. I don't think those are, or are they Andre the Giant arms and stuff? I don't think this is the Andre the Giant torso, man. And I don't know. We'll do a comparison in just a moment, so just hold on to that thought. Now, going down to the crotch and legs, this is a brand new leg mold. You have Punjabi going down the side in that orange and white and then he does have the red pants. I'm hoping we get a debut Kali, and I doubt they change anything, man, because they sculpted all this to know that they could do it again, but he is undersized. I mean, that's just how it is, and his feet are also very massive, which would make sense because he's great Kali, but uh, he does have ankle rocker and stuff. But in terms of articulation, he's got an ab crunch there, waist swivel, like everything feels tight and good. I don't really have any issues there, I don't think. He has a good kick forward, and the great Kali does feel good in the hand. He certainly feels buttery smooth compared compared to the rest of this set, so that's good. Upper thigh cut, you get a really nice double jointed knee. You get the ankle rotation right here and an ankle pivot, so that's good. This is actually on a swivel right here at the bottom of the cuff, and his feet do look massive, but one thing you gotta do with this great Kali is you gotta compare him to other giant figures that Mattel has made. So if we get Andre the Giant in here, Andre the Giant's definitely taller and much bigger. And then if you get in Omos, which the most recent Omos figure that we have is going to be this one. And yeah, they start, they're they over him. Now, Now the Great Kali apparently is 7'1". Omos is supposed to be 7'3". And Andre the Giant is 7'4". So these may be accurate, man. The, we might be accurate. We might be on to something right here. This may actually be to scale. If those heights are accurate... It just looks like he he just does he does look short though. He he looks a little too short. I think he is a little too short. Even if those heights are accurate, I think he is a touch too short. But I also want to get the Jax Great Kali in here, which is I know is gonna tower over this guy. And my the Jax Great Kali is my favorite Great Kali. I just like how menacing it is. And I wish he came with like a chop hand. But there for your Jax comparison, you can see here that the Jax one towers over, which I kind of expect they towers over all of them. I just really like that figure. But you can see by the hand comparison, I don't think they gave him Andre the Giant hands. I think they just gave him normal hands. Or maybe they did give him... Or maybe they both... They give him both the wrong size hands. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe they don't even give Andre Giant... No, they give Andre Giant the right hands, right? Like, Omos has the same hands as everybody else. It's just not right, man. Anyways, I don't know. I, I like the Great Kali. I just think they could have done some other things better. Like, when you compare him to the Hulk Hogan over here, like, just compare him to the Hulk Hogan. Like, the Hulk Hogan... I guess it's not as tall. I guess he does kind of... He towers over the Hulk Hogan, too. Or not towers over him, but you know. Anyway. I, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad, but maybe he could be a slight bit taller, but I think the basic they made of him towers over, but I don't have a basic to compare, but I do think the basic Mattel Great Kali figure that they made does tower over this Elite here. Anyways, man, it is time to rank this set from my least favorite to my favorite figure in terms of this entire set here. We're going to break it down, tell you guys what I love about each figure, what I like, what I don't like, and then we're going to rank them from worst to best. So starting out at the bottom, I did go with the Hulk Hogan. Not that the Hulk Hogan is a bad figure per se, I just think that it's a straight-up re-release. There's nothing about it besides the accessory change, and I just, I don't know, I, I just think they could have done it something a little differently. It's just a straight-up re-release, so I can't really put it any higher than we have right here. Up next, I do have the Diesel figure. Just not the most exciting release. You know, I do like the gear, and the head sculpt's not bad. It's just not something, I don't know, I, I just don't care for it that much, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a later Diesel, and they use kind of a, a younger-looking Diesel in comparison, so there is that. Next up, I did do the Hurricane. I think the Hurricane figure 
figure is solid. It's not bad at all. I don't like the stiff legs and the head is oversized, but overall I do like the Hurricane more than the other two. I'd rather have the Hurricane over the Diesel and the Hulk Hogan figure. But then it comes down to two and one between Cody and Great Khali. Oh man. I think at the end of the day, man, I'm going to go with the Cody Rhodes number two and the Great Khali number one. Um, for the simple fact that I can't even pose around the Cody Rhodes and the Cody Rhodes is kind of disappointing because the, the legs are so damn stiff for me and it it's just very disappointing. It's so disappointing because I was looking forward to that figure so much. I was there front row for it. It has sentimental, sentimental value and things of that nature, but it's so hard to pose around and I don't really care for the head sculpt that much. I do love the gear. I love the moment. love everything about it. love Cody Rhodes, but also I think the boots are oversized or the feet are oversized for that figure. The legs stiffness is really what just drives me up the wall, but the Great Khali feels good in hand. Maybe not as big as we'd like. Maybe it's not exactly what we were expecting out of a Great Khali Elite, but I do think at the end of the day, I'd rather have that great Kali over the rest of the figures in the set. And that's really what the ranking comes down to. Is that going to be in one of the top figures of the year? I don't know, man. I, usually I do my top 25 elites or whatever the case is. Is he going to crack the top 25? I guess it depends. We've had a lot of solid releases this year, and we'll get into that, and we'll see who makes it in and who makes it out. College football playoff style, who's going to make it in? But it should be fun nonetheless, man. But I think that is going to wrap up my Royal Rumble thoughts. Overall, this set's kind of mid. You know, I, I really am not that excited for the wave overall, getting it in hand here. I do like that we finally have a great Kali. I do like that we finally have this Cody figure in form. But I don't know, man. I feel like this set is kind of, uh, I don't know. It's kind of lifeless. It has kind of a lifeless feel to it. And anything that would be, like, any exciting parts of it kind of under-delivered, if that makes sense. So I think that's kind of where that comes in. You have a kind of a, kind of a disappointment in the great Kali. D kind of disappointment in the Cody. Heads oversized on the Hurricane. Diesel, I really wasn't even excited for that much. And then Hulk Hogan's a straight up re-release with an added accessory. So it's just not the greatest wave of all time. It doesn't move the needle for me that much. But maybe you guys feel differently. I'd like to know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I am excited to have Great Kali. I'm glad to have that figure in the set. I'm, gl I'm glad that we're finally getting Great Kali in elite form. But all these things, you know, this is how, uh, how I feel about it, man. You, know, you guys know I'm going to give you exactly how my thoughts and feelings are. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. going to tell you all the facts of the matter. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate those fellas. Thank you guys so very much for everything, man. You guys are absolutely goaded. Thank you so much for your support as always, but I'm getting the hell out, man. It is the start of October, so we'll probably have our massive horror box going up later today or sometime today or tomorrow or something, man. Like, the horror stuff's about to ramp up. Should be fun, all the setups and everything, but I'm getting the hell out, man. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.